Hey everybody, Roger here again. Um, I think we're going to do is going to, for the new players, basically anybody that is, I would say two or five and below, thinking of doing the tournament, it's going to give you a little guide on club selection. So let's go through. Driver, most of you probably have a similar setup to what I have. You have a rocket already by now. Hopefully you have the extra mile or the big topper and possibly a quarterback. Um, out of these clubs, these are the two you want to go with. Um, either the extra mile or the big topper. There's not really a whole lot of difference in the two in the overall overall statistics as we can show you here extra mile your big topper probably have them all within level four below um, if you go down at the bottom here the distance with the top spin um, actually your big topper is going to hit is going to out hit the extra mile all the way through so it all I mean and the accuracy is roughly the same in both uh, the top spin that's why it's called the big topper uh, back spin really you don't use the back spin that often um, but one thing you do need and do kind of use is curl where the big topper definitely has a big advantage so when choosing your club you can the thing to do is to maybe match it up with your wood um, probably most of you have either either the viper or the big dog possibly the horizon <clears throat> if you're really lucky you have a hammerhead um, but you can match them up, you know, however you want. The, um, the big topper, like I said, on the par fives, maybe go with the big topper. So you get that extra length. Um, on the par fours, stick, maybe stick with the extra mile. Um, it's, you know, one it's really your preference um, when going to the wood again most of you have a viper or a big dog and here here I would suggest on the par fives the three par fives for this tournament definitely use the big dog um, it'll give you the extra, the extra length you need. I, mean, I have a level five Viper. The best the lever the Viper gets is 170 yards. The big dog at level three is already over that. Um, so you don't have to overpower it as much. So the accuracy still isn't so bad. You get even more top spin. You get equal amount, pretty much equal amount of back spin. So you can still, it's still feasibly you can still use it on the shootout holes if you need it and it's got much more curl the only thing it doesn't have is the ball guide but on the par fives recommend definitely recommend using the big dog now going on to the long irons most of you either have the backbone or maybe you have the goliath the uh, the main difference on these two clubs is the Goliath, much more powerful. So on the par fours, we may need it, or on the par five, we may need it. It comes in handy, but definitely for the shootout, it's it could come in very handy. They both this starting out compared to level three has 30 backspin which is important. The ball guide 
a little bit better has more curl um, I really would recommend it. it's not an accurate club though so that's the only difference so you're gonna give up the accuracy for power if you go with the backbone you're getting the accuracy minus the power everything else is pretty much the same um, so but I would recommend accuracy is very important um, unless you get a huge headwind but on the rookie tournament you probably won't the backbone will be fine for the two new par th for the one new par three and for the shootout I believe it would be the first hole and the tournament um, and the other ones you'd, you'd be using your wood anyhow so that is what I would recommend onto the short iron um, if you're lucky enough to have the thorn by now by all means use that um, let me quick switch it this way so I can if you have either one of these two the runner or the Apache and that's your only short iron I would recommend going with the Apache only because it gives you a little more distance um, they're both really not that good if you're lucky enough like I was to get a Kingfisher um, definitely use that it's got a good ball guide it's got 40 backspin um, which to me the important thing with a short iron is as you can see with the thorn is backspin for me personally um, usually the short iron you use on a par 4 it's your second shot and you want to stop that ball as close to the pin as possible to give you the easiest putt possible the thorn with starting off with a 75 backspin I wouldn't go any more than 60 six bars down on your backspin it should stop it within a bounce or two so wherever your guide shows that's pretty much where it's going to end and 40 isn't so bad but if you have the thorn use that for everything your wedge most of you all have the dart that's the only one I have so I can use I'm hoping to get the firefly relatively soon um, mainly for the ball guide especially I'd like to get it before the tournament but I doubt that'll happen um, I may end up getting it after the tournament if I pl place high enough up so there's that um, if you have you know it's up to your personal preference the dart is a very good club so there's no reason not to use it um, the only reason I haven't upgraded this is because I'm kinda low on coins and I'm gonna need the coins for the tournament and I'm comfortable using the dart in its current state rough iron most of you either have a rough cutter or a machete uh, possibly you might have got a junglist by now um, these are probably the most common two you have uh, a level three is good I can again I need the coin so I'm not going to upgrade it just yet I would recommend using if you have a machete use the machete as you can see even here at 56 at level 3 is very similar to the thorn so when you're in the rough by the green you can use it just like a thorn use the backspin stop it very close easy putt better chance of winning on to a oh another thing I forgot if you have any chance if you're lucky enough to have the off-roader uh, by all means you should be using that until you can get in my opinion the Nirvana I think it's the second best rough iron out there I like it better than the razor um, that's my personal preference onto the sand wedge if uh, everybody probably has a desert storm and it's an okay club um, it's probably a better
better club if you're in the bunker off your off the tee. If you hit your drive into the bunker, this club is better than the Malibu. That's the only place it's better. Uh, because of the top spin, you can get a lot more distance with it versus the Malibu. If you find yourself in the bunkers closer to the green, then you want to use the Malibu by all means. It's probably... Until you can upgrade a lizard, the sand lizard, up around level, I think, 7 maybe, um, that's when the sand lizard becomes a really good club too. But those are probably the two. If you have the castaway... Um, Over the Malibu, no. Um, the Castaway versus the Desert Storm. You can make an argument for it, yeah. Probably. Probably, yeah. You could use a Castaway over the Desert over a Desert Storm. So there you have it. I hope this is helpful. And. Um, if you have any questions, you know, just leave a comment. Um, subscribe to the channel, to my channel, and uh, as always, thanks for watching, and see you on the course.